Hey guys, good morning. Welcome, welcome back. Today's Sunday. I hate filming on Sundays because there's a church right back there and you can hear them. Amen. I'm getting dressed to go to the gym. I know. Sundays are usually my rest days. I usually do not train on a rest day. I would just lay in bed, do nothing all day. But nowadays, I'm trying to make my rest days a lot more active. So just make them like active rest days just to get like some movement in my body. Because I really hate just laying in bed. I feel like I'm rotting away. So I'm not focusing on lifting heavy. I'm not focusing on hitting like a personal best or anything. I'm not training the way I would usually train on a weekday. It's just to have some movement in my day instead of just laying in bed for 24 hours. I'm probably gonna just focus on some abs and cardio. I really want to get back into skipping rope. First of all, I hate cardio. <laughs> I don't like stationary cardio. So bike, treadmill, none of that. I need to get my life together. So I'm gonna do some skipping. Probably do a little bit of chest because I only train chest once this week, which is typical for me. But because I'm training six days, I'm back to training six days a week now. That's how many days. So I'm just gonna use it as a makeup session. That's what we're doing. This noise is getting on my nerves, so let's just get dressed. I love this coconut body scrub. This is what I use to scrub my face in the morning, and it is from Prozies. I'll link every item that I use in this video in my description, so if you wanna get your hands on this, you can use my code SOFA10. It smells so good. I've been feeling really good recently. Like I'm doing well mentally, physically. I'm just excited for the remainder of the year. My birthday's also coming up. I'm super excited for that. I'm turning 30, you guys. Ah! 30 just sounds like such a serious number. Like I wish I could just slow the time down. You know, when I was like 16, 17, 18, all I wanted to do was grow up and be an adult. And now it's like, oh my goodness, can we please slow down the hands of time? 30 is too serious. 30 isn't old. I'm not saying 30 is old because it's not. And the older you get, the more you actually realize that age is nothing but a number. You know, like, it's nothing but a number. I still feel very young and youthful and vibrant. I'm the strongest I've ever been. I'm the sexiest I've ever been. I'm the fittest I've ever been. And I just feel like I'm aging with grace. You know, I'm getting fun about a day. I still feel like I'm 21. I feel like I'm 21, but with more money, with more sense. I'm wiser. You know what I'm saying? I'm more confident. Fresh face, banging body. Ooh, look, skin, skin. This is the Karite. Oh, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Karite body butter. So I'm using this right after the facial scrub, the body scrub, almost finished. I've been using this religiously. Again, smells beautiful, smells divine. My skin has been so good lately. Oh, you see what happens when you drink water, go to the gym and mind your business? You get clear skin. So I got my hands on some new Prozy active wear for the month. It's only three sets, but let's try them on and rate them one through 10. She's least now. So I'm gonna start out with this red set with a matching sport bra. This one is cute. Uh, in terms of stretch, it's very, very stretchy. This is a size extra small, I believe, yeah. And it does not give you a uni butt, but it has a line running down here in the back where your cheeks go. So it's not a scrunch, but it's going to give you a similar illusion to a scrunch bum. So let me try her on and we'll see what she looks like. Okay, so I do like this set. I think it's cute. It's very simple, subtle. I like the sports bra. Not really too much going on. Um, I do like a really good pair of shorts. Again, a simple cross strap. Um, yeah, so I'll give this set a nine out of 10. Yeah, I don't know, I'm looking a bit dark, but I really wanna capture the color of the sets. This one is a halter top, my favorite design. And this one seems a little less 
loose than the other one. That one is an extra small, but it felt like a small. It was big. This one feels like an extra small. Wait, let me just double check, make sure. Yep, it's an extra small. And quality, I give it a 10. I'm not surprised. They do have really great quality clothing. And this is the matching leggings. This is really going to give you, oh, and this is the back. I already see right here the scoop is going to scoop your glutes really good and at the bottom of the leggings I love this design right here in terms of stretch it does have a very good stretch to it and this is a high waisted waistband and the logo is very subtle great Okay, this set is coming together. It's a bit loose around this area. There is a lot of extra fabric, not too much, but honestly, I'm not complaining because I feel like I do need the extra fabric in order for this to really just fit me around this area. I'd rather have extra fabric than for it to be too tight and then I rip my leggings. So I'm not even going to complain. Um, I would have preferred if the leggings didn't have like a super high waist because the sports bra is already all the way down here so this is almost like covering my stomach at this point like if I wanted to cover my stomach I would have just gotten like a jumpsuit or something but I wish it was kind of like a mid-length um, pair of leggings maybe to like here like I know you can fold it you can wear it like this but I would just prefer if it was a bit more low-rise because I don't like folding my leggings for some reason but I think that's my only complaint um, but overall, it does fit me well. No padding in the sports bra. Again, obviously, it's not new news anymore. Um, flexible. I can move around in it. I can squat in it, so that's a good sign. I would probably give this set a 7 out of 10. And next, I got this checkered set. I'm not really a Prince kind of girl. Like when it comes to activewear, I like solid colors, but I did like this one. I thought it was very unique and I loved the sports bra. It's a halter neck sports bra. There is no straps at the back. Um, the logo is, I don't know where the logo is, but it's very subtle. You're not even gonna see it. And this is an extra small. Again, the only problem that I have with these sports bras is there's no padding inside. I don't know if Prozies is allergic to putting pads in their bras, but Prozies, put some fucking pads in your bras. Give the girls a little support, please. This is an extra small, but it does feel like a small. The neck area here feels a bit too loose. And it's very, very stretchy, so I don't, this is not gonna grip me well. This is not gonna give me good support, but I'm not gonna know until I try it on. But I can already sense it. So Prozies does have um, the padding on their website, so I think you have to buy it separately, which is super annoying because I feel like you should put the pads in your bras regardless. And if somebody doesn't want it, they can just take it out. But let me try this on and just see what the fitting is like. I already feel like it's gonna be too big. Oh, found the logo. The logo is down here. Very subtle, you're not even gonna see it. You're probably gonna miss it. Oh, and these are the leggings. I forgot to show you guys the leggings. So these are the leggings. Very, very stretchy. It has a medium waistband. So this one is not a super high waistband. So let's put her on and see what she looks like. I just quickly grabbed some pads from one of my old sports bras and I just want to see if it's gonna make a difference um I think it has to do with the size like the length of the halter neck it is a bit long I'm probably gonna to have to tie her up anyway um, but other than that <clears throat> what do you guys think I like this set I think this is my favorite I just would have appreciated a little bit more support up here um, I think the cups made a little difference in terms of just giving this place a more rounder nicer shape but in terms of the fitting it is still a bit too loose and that's because this is like longer I'm gonna probably have to tie it up in the back so I would give this one I'll give this one a nine 
I'll give this one a 9 out of 10. Only because this first part was too loose. Otherwise, this would have been a 10 out of 10. But I give it a 9 out of 10. And finally, the last addition to the haul for today, I got this super duper duper cute tote bag. Okay, this is the packaging. And I didn't get this to carry to the gym. I needed a big tote bag that could carry a bunch of stuff. So I really got this to travel with. So this is what it looks like. Quality on 10. Woo! Get to it. Gear, gear. And she's very big, she's spacious. Woo, this is gonna fit a lot of stuff. I needed something that was going to carry a lot of stuff. Like I needed something to put my camera, my tripod, and not feel too heavy. This one was perfect. It's still available on the website. Okay, that's it for the haul. I have my favorite combo here. Pre-workout, creatine, two scoops of each before I hit this workout. Um, but like I said, it's supposed to be a light workout, nothing too heavy, so I'm probably just gonna do one scoop of pre-workout and then one scoop of um, the creatine. Creatine. Mix it all together and you know you got the best of both worlds. Mix it all together and you know that Hey guys, voiceover Sandra here. So all of the workouts that I follow are taken straight out of my fitness app. If you need a structure to your routine, then check this app out. Your first seven days is free of charge and you can cancel anytime. Also, if you need more curated programs, then my website is for you. Here I have more specific workouts for specific fitness goals. These programs come in PDF format and it includes detailed instructions for your workouts, how to choose your weights, a stretch routine, and also a training split. Also, you get a PDF nutrition plan that takes you through nutrition tips, how to count your calories, it gives you a full food shopping list, plus a variety of meals for you to choose from. All of my links are gonna be in the description, so make sure you check it out. All right, so I'm starting off with my skips, and I time myself for two minutes, and I do four sets. So I'm gonna do two minutes on, and then I'm gonna jump into my ab workout, then I'm gonna do four sets. So, let's go. Also, if you need a jump rope, I do have jump ropes on my website. Here, link is going to be in the description for you.
You made this work I made this worse We felt apart a thousand times A thousand times You moved away I'm here to stay I wish I could go back in time Back in time I'm so sorry Lunch today is going to be my go-to protein chicken wrap. This recipe is in my nutrition plan and that is what I'm following today. For the wrap, I'm using my Prozies whole wheat wraps. Prozies has honestly made my food choices so much easier because they have a ton of healthier options for your foods and your snacks. That's where I get all my protein bars from and I highly recommend that you guys check it out. This one is vegan friendly if you are vegan. My next ingredient is cheese. I got this from a grocery store nearby. It is my first time trying this particular product. I don't know how it's gonna taste, but that's what I'm using today. I'm also using two eggs. Now with the spices, just do you. If you're going to follow this recipe, put whatever spices you want, however you want it to taste. Keep it simple, that's how I like it. Also, I wasn't able to get plain chicken breast, so I get whole chicken instead. So I'm just going to be using bits and pieces of the chicken that I want, just measuring the quantity that I want. So now I'm going ahead to prep my chicken. After washing, I cut them into small bits. If you want it chunkier, that's completely dependent on what your preference is and the size you want your chicken to be. the wrap over some heat so I added just less than a teaspoon of oil to my frying pan and I just like my wrap to be very brown and crispy and this is also to help melt the cheese inside. Here we go. I go to lunch prep. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Mm -hmm. I like it. <laughs> Your girl is in bed right now. It is currently eight twenty-four. PM. Um, I ordered pizza. I had pizza this evening because I mean it's Sunday, so it's Sundays are usually chill for me. Um, 
I just didn't feel like making anything for dinner. After that chicken wrap, I was done. Like I'm, I was, I was not, I was done. And usually on Sundays, I would prep my meals for the week, but I didn't prep anything today. I'm probably not gonna, I stopped meal prepping for like the last few weeks, but I'm going to start prepping my meals again. Maybe when I'm trying to cut, probably gonna go on a cut in May or end of April. Cause I have a few trips coming up and I need to get bikini body ready. I need to get bikini body ready. So yeah, that's probably when I'll be a little bit more strict with my diet. So what I'm doing now is just um, rounding up, just catching up on some editing that I have to do. I have a lot of Instagram content to edit and then of course YouTube. So I like to edit all of my videos if I can like at once and then schedule everything for the week. That is how I stay organized. And I feel like it's just such a productive way to get my content out because once I've scheduled it, I don't even have to worry about it. Like sometimes I forget I scheduled a, a post for like today and then it, it just posts on its own. Like it's just so, org it's just an organized way to stay on top of, you know, my content. And I don't feel overwhelmed because when you have to edit your videos er every single time you want to post, like, oh, I have to post a video tomorrow. So I'm going to rush through the edit today. Sometimes it could just get so overwhelming and then drag out. So yeah, scheduling my content ahead of time for the whole week is just such a stress reliever so that's what I'm doing now I'm going to get my laptop right here yeah I need to get a new laptop I actually need to get a new laptop this laptop is old and I keep pushing it and pushing it and pushing it because I don't want to spend the money but I need to get a new one seriously I have to budget this in like the next two to three months I don't know, I'll probably get one for my birthday. But yeah. So that's all for today, folks. Um, I'm tired too. But yeah, I'm just gonna finish up editing. I've been going to sleep very late these days. Like I fall asleep like around 1 a.m. But tonight I'm gonna try and get to bed early. But yeah, that is it. So this is me signing out for the night. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have some exciting videos coming up. I can't wait to start filming those. And did I ever say thank you for 2 million subscribers? I'm sure I did. I made a post about it, but I'd never said it in a video. But y'all, we had 2 million subscribers. I told myself by the end of the year, I wanted to get to 5 million. Like, I don't know if like, 5 million just sounds so scary. It sounds so daunting. But I mean, 2 million in literally the span of six months, it's crazy. It's unheard of. So I'm pretty sure I can do 5M, but we'll see. That's one of my targets. Um, by the end of the year we'll see where i am but i'm just excited i'm so glad that i'm doing this youtube thing full time ah, it's been fun it's been fun honestly i can't complain so thank you guys so much for just watching my videos and supporting me honestly the support on this channel has been incredible i don't think i've had this much support on any other platform like y'all are the best honestly so thank you so so much um but yeah with that being said let me finish up my editing and i'm gonna see y'all in my next video good night